YouTube. What's going on? It's Juan Gaddy here. We have another Washington Commanders video. And in today's video, I'm coming on here with a video where we're going to be talking more about the vacant offensive coordinator position and some updates and now some new interviews that have came out and some possible candidates that are now out of the mix. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure go down below. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We're on the road to 6,000 subscribers. So please hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. Trying to make this the fast and growing year that we've had on the channel so far. So please, please help me by doing so. And if you want to donate to the channel to upgrade, the, to help upgrade the, you know, the funding of this channel, um, you can also do that via Super Chats when we go live or the Cash App, as you can see, scrolling across your screen. But obviously, you know you don't have to do that. That's just would be a nice gesture if you want to. Um, with that out the way, let's get straight into today's video. So how are we doing tonight? Um, first thing I want to talk about is Daryl Bevel. Remember, I uh, came on a couple of days ago to talk about the Washington Commanders being interested in Daryl Bevel. Um, he's a guy that uh, fits this this scheme that Ron, Ron Rivera kind of wants. He's a guy that believes in running the ball. Um, he's a guy that believes in protecting the quarterback. Um, and he had in, in, in 2009, you know, with Adrian Peterson, he had one of the best run the uh, run offenses in the NFL. You know, um, so figure it because obviously Adrian Peterson just was an animal, right? Um, he had a fourth uh, best uh, rushing offense one year, so. This guy is a is a guy. He's a person that believes in running the ball, but but also on the flip side, he's a guy that is known for the most notorious play, uh, uh call in NFL history, or one of them, um, or failure, I should say, where instead of giving it to Marshawn Lynch on the one yard line, we all know where this is heading. He he decides to pass, and Malcolm Butler picks it off. And the Patriots go on to win the Super Bowl instead of Seattle winning back-to-back -back chips. We he's the brain behind that behind that move. Okay, so that's why I was trying to tell everybody um, when I made the video that hey, he he he's okay. He's solid as far as you know trying to run the ball, but he um, lacks situational awareness, and that was the biggest problem we had with the prior offensive coordinator that being scott turner i mean that is lacking situational awareness at its finest on the biggest stage of them all like could you imagine with how bad scott turner was and he did something like that uh in the super bowl we would rip this guy to shreds i mean we was ripping this guy to shreds in the regular season i know i was you know for the past three years ripping scott turner scott turner up about his play console could you imagine doing that on the biggest stage of the mall, could you imagine being a Seahawks fan, right? So Daryl Bevel, he wasn't a potential option, but now we don't have to worry about that because he decided to go back to Miami and continue to be the passing game coordinator, which I'm totally fine with. I'm actually happy he did that because I, I, I did not want Daryl Bevel, to be honest with you. Um, so I'm actually happy he decided to go back to Miami, uh, and now we'll move on to other options. Now, as you can see by the title of today's video, Washington Commanders, like they said, uh, it, it was a it was a tweet that was put out when this thing first happened. Is that Washington is not opposed, although they prefer and most likely will hire outside of the organization. They there is not a hundred percent you know chance or a hundred percent no to them hiring within. Okay, and in fact, I thought that's what they were going to do. I thought this was a move that they were going to make, and uh, it's taking you know, steps to that being a possibility as Washington has interviewed today um, quarterbacks coach Ken Zampezi for the offense coordinator position. And when I first saw this, I was kind of, you know, I wasn't upset, but I kind of um, um, had mixed feelings about it because on one hand, I understand why they want to do it, but on the other hand, I kind of want some fresh blood, somebody new that hasn't been around this team the past couple years uh that to, to come in and that's still the case you know they didn't uh hire ken zampezi or they didn't promote him but they did interview him um so i do want some fresh blood but on the other hand i was thinking about it, i'm like hiring ken zampezi would not necessarily it wouldn't be a terrible decision um if you think about it uh he's been here okay he's been coaching sam howe taylor heineke all these guys 
Um, so he knows these guys' strengths. He knows their weaknesses, okay? So if Ron Rivera wants to have a guy that can develop Sam Howell, um, Ken Zampes is the perfect guy because he's been here. Sam Howell's comfortable with him. Um, and, and, and they could, they can have probably a similar offense that they, that they've been running. So it doesn't be too complicated, not only to the quarterback position, but to everybody on the offense side of the ball. Now as fans, we may let, we may not like that the most, but Ron Rivera may be looking at it from a standpoint of shoot. Uh, I'm, I'm coaching for my job with the new ownership, with the new ownership possibly coming in, and this could possibly be my last year. So I'm going to do whatever I can to possibly save my job. And, you know, this could be a safe option for him. This could be an easy fix, um, getting a guy that's been here um, and that knows the system that, that they kind of want to run, I guess you would say, or the kind of thing that Ron Rivera wants to run, and he can uh, – you know, help Sam Howard develop in a way because he did kind of develop, develop Baker Mayfield in Cleveland. Um, so this guy has some 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 experience in developing quarterbacks, and that could be enough for Ron Rivera to be like, hey, I, I, I want you back. I want to promote you. And honestly, looking at it now, that is a realistic option because he checks off so many boxes, okay? One, he, he develops quarterbacks. Okay, two, he's been here. Three, Sam Howell's used to him. And he's comfortable with him after being under him for one year. Four, Ron Rivera. Um, he, he can run a similar scheme and, and, and uh, you know, uh, um, a similar scheme that, that Scott Turner probably ran. Uh, to, so it won't be too hard of a, uh, you know, a, a change for these players. Uh, he, he, can, he can be an offensive coordinator that, caters to Ron Rivera's two-to-one ratio and Martin Mayhew that they want to run? Who knows? Uh, again, it wouldn't be my favorite hire, but I would understand it. And honestly, I can't be mad at it, right? If Ken Zampezi is the offensive coordinator, the only thing I can pray for is that he actually gets these weapons involved. OK, uh, but more likely than not, it probably is going to be something similar to Scott Turner. And the thing with Scott Turner is we heard he's a guy that wants to pass the ball. OK, and it's not necessarily the plays that he drew up all the time. It was mainly, again, his situational awareness. Scott Turner had some plays that were just, you know, were terrible. You know, jet sweeps, the end arounds, the the, um, the, the you know, the two the two man routes and stuff like that. Trust me, he was horrible. Not defending Scott Turner at all. But the biggest problem with Scott Turner was his situation awareness. So if Ken Zampezi can have better situational awareness, but have the a similar scheme to Scott Turner, but it adds his little bit of flavor, how would you guys feel about that? Honestly, leave it down below in the comment section. How would you feel about that? Because, again, I, if, if Kansas and PZ is hired as the offensive coordinator, I don't see it being a total a total scheme just overhaul as if it was to be if we hire without the organization. Like, if we hire Pat Shermer, okay, we hire um, the, the guy from Atlanta, uh, the running backs coach, London. If we hire those, it's going to be a total overhaul. And he's gonna to have to come in here and implicate implicate his scheme. Not saying Ken Zampezi won't do that, but with Ken Zampezi already being here and being around these guys, it's hard for me to believe that it is gonna be a total scheme switch. Okay, um, that's just how I feel about it. And again, if that's the case, I don't necessarily I don't agree with it, but I, it's hard for me to to hate it. Okay, because again. I understand the predicament that this team is currently in. Ron Rivera is coaching for his his his, his coaching life. Okay, the ownership new ownership possibly will be here next year, so Ron Rivera kind of wants to make it make a decision that is going to help him sleep better at night and have, help him know what he's getting himself into. Okay, and with hiring Ken Zampezi, he kind of he kind of knows what he's getting himself into. So again. It wouldn't be my favorite hire, but I will understand it. I'm curious to see how you guys would handle it. How do you feel about it? Leave that down below in the comment section. Um, I think it would probably be the best for Sam Howe if we want to if we're gonna roll with him. And they made it a key point um with interviewing these offensive coordinators and these um these coaches that 
hey, man, we're rolling with Sam Howell to start. So when you get here, this is the guy that you're dealing with, okay? So when Ron Rivera is interviewing these guys for their offense corner position, they're mentioning Sam Howell. They're bringing up Sam Howell. Um, and I'm pretty sure they're going to do that with Ken Zay there. They did that today with Ken Zampezi, and it, it's, it's pretty easy to make a match because he was here with Sam Howell already. So – um, don't be surprised if Ken Zampezi is a, is the guy that ends up with the offensive coordinator job. I understand they said they want to hire with um you know outside of the organization, but given all of the, the facts and given all of the, the scenarios and, and things that I've that I've given you in today's video, I wouldn't be surprised if Ken Zampezi ends up being the offensive coordinator. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. I'm very curious to hear your opinions. Would you like Ken Zampezi to be the offensive coordinator, or would you want us to hire someone uh, outside of the organization? Curious to hear your thoughts and opinions. Please like this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications. We're on the road to 6,000 subscribers, so please hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. And also share out the channel to new NFL and commanders fans around the world. As always, it's been Boy One Gotti. Come out. Peace. Uh, Cost me one time, that's gonna get you pop. Get you pop, uh, get you drop. Uh, slide on the one way that get you locked on. Uh, I ain't stopping till I get me an automobile. Shots in his head.